Hi everyone, thank you for joining our live Q&A today. I'm going to now hand it over to our lovely lecturers to answer any of your questions. Hello, my name's Arnie Breen. I'm the Programme Area Manager for Performing Arts and Media and I'm here today to answer any media related questions. And Hi there, I'm Jade and um, <laughs> I teach dance and also on our degree programme in performing arts. Hello, I'm Peter Groves. Hello, I'm Peter Groves and I'm the course leader for the acting course. So I'm here to answer any questions that you might have about the acting course at BMC. Hi there, my name is Rachel Wilson and I'm course tutor for musical theatre year one and two. And I'm here to answer any questions you might have regarding course content, musical theatre. Okay, so we have our first question. What are the entry requirements? Hello, my name is Kat Webb and I am course tutor for the dance course um, and I'm going to hand back to Arnie to talk about the entry requirements. The entry requirements for performing arts and for creative media are the same. They are five GCSEs at grade four or above. Or if you've done a level two in performing arts or media, we would like a merit as well. Although saying that, uh, we judge each case individually and if we believe that person uh, has got the required abilities and quickly some talent, um, we, we deal with each uh, case on an individual basis. So there is some flexibility in that. So what are the facilities at Brooksby Melton College? Uh, well, on the media course, we have our own uh, TV studio, which has got a permanent green screen in it. Uh, we, we use that as a generic uh, film studio. We've also got a, uh, a dedicated sound studio. Um, we have editing suites full of uh, Apple Mac computers, which is what all the creative media uh, use. And uh, we've got the two, three rooms full of Macs. Uh, that, and we also provide all our students with uh, cameras all editing facilities and lighting and all things like that. Pass over and let someone else talk about some of the performing arts facilities. I'll talk about the dance ones if you like. Um, so on the dance course um, and across performing arts we're really lucky to have some lovely studios um, that are fully, they have sprung floors, we have mirrors, we have bars, um, they all have stereos in which are brilliant for when we're working and rehearsing on pieces um, and we kind of share the studios so downstairs at BMC we have three really beautiful dance studios um, and then upstairs we have another one two three four four um, studios that the sort of drama students and then Rachel has her music room as well which has a piano in um, and she does her singing lessons Oh, so we've got we've got a question from Charlie here um, and it says, hello, I just wondered what days and times the level three performing arts course is. OK, so um, we haven't got a timetable through for next year yet. Um, and obviously there may be a few changes this year. Um, so we're taking our time to plan and get our heads around what we're doing. Normally you're in for three full days um, and then you have some other work that you'll need to do where you can normally come into college and work in the library or it might be that we'll set work for you to do at home um, and potentially this year we may be doing some online classes as well and um, to kind of kind of work with you online as well so the answer is I don't know yet um, and I don't know if anyone else wants to fill in and expand on that yeah just to um to sort of repeat what Kat has been saying um three full days um, across all the three courses. Um, obviously in the current situation that we're in at the moment, we are 
um, following government policies and procedures regarding social distancing, etc. So the course may well look slightly different to what we're, we're all used to, but we are obviously will be guided by our managers and the government. And obviously we aim to make the course as exciting and diverse as it as it has been in obviously all the previous years. And we're very confident about that. Yes, and I'd just like to add about that, that we've gained valuable experience in term three with our current students doing sort of lots of exciting online learning where they're doing sort of theory work and practical work and doing it online. Um, so that's going to be really useful for next term. And what we're going to do is we're going to focus on when the students are in to really look at practical sessions. So they'll be in for sort of two full days, full on practical work. And then the sort of theory and other elements will be taught through um, online seminars and classes and sessions. So we have another question. Uh, will there still be an induction week? Yeah, um, there will still be an induction week. However, what uh, it will actually look like, um, we're not quite sure yet. Um, we'll definitely get you in, uh, prospective students, we'll definitely try and get you in as soon as we possibly can uh, to have a look, at least have a look around um, and have some taste of what the course will be like. Uh, as we've just been talking about, you know, we're in the planning stage of next term at the moment, and that includes the induction week. Um, guidance is changing on a daily basis so we're trying to keep up with that and also trying to keep all social distancing laws etc et so as soon as we have a plan of what the induction week and indeed what the next term will actually look like we will be letting uh, students know um, there's a question here about dance from louise um she's louise is asking will outside dance lessons help on the dance course um, to be honest, I'm not sure we're really set up for outside dance uh, classes. We have got a car park um, and some outdoor space, and obviously there's some lovely space at Brooksby that maybe we could utilise. Um, but we haven't quite discussed that yet. Um, we're lucky to have studios upstairs that are all kind of, they have windows, so we can have the windows open. Um, and um, I think you know, we'll make sure we've got a plan. So um, don't you worry about where the dance classes will happen. They will be happening. We'll kind of have them together ready to. Um, shall I answer the question, the anonymous? What is your audition process like to get into the acting or musical theatre course? Okay, so in terms of musical theatre, and then I'll hand over to Pete to discuss the acting. Um, requirements at the moment are that you will be, you will prepare a monologue and you will prepare a solo musical theatre song. So what would normally happen is you get in touch with the college and they will send out um, the audition pack material um, if you haven't received that already. I know there has been some difficulties with the formatting for the musical, specifically the musical theatre audition package. So what I've been doing is when people have received it and it's happened to them, I'm then photographing the monologue and then sending it by email. And we, we have a, um, in addition to that, once you've applied for the course, I will be told that you have, and then you will have a phone call interview with me, and then I'll give you a couple of weeks to put together your audition <coughs> I hope that answers the question. Shall I answer that? Uh... A question from Maisie, can I give an example of uh, assessments for the level three? Uh, well, Maisie, uh, an example would be uh, all in each term you work on projects uh, and they're usually themed around a genre of film. Uh, an example would be in the first term uh, in this academic year, the first years were working on a film noir project uh, based on old 1940s and 1950s uh, thrillers. Uh, black and white films uh, and in that they had to create a short film noir sequence but also uh, because it was the first project of the year that's also involved in their skill building so they would also look at how to operate a camera how to actually film something in black and white 
uh, also some research into that sort of film genre. So it's a mixture of, and a, a, a nice way to explain it is you're doing the practical work in learning how to use the equipment and making a short film, but there's also the academic side in the background of the research into that style of genre and also the equipment that you're using. Um, in term two, uh, this year, they were working on a music video project. Uh, in term three, you would actually choose your own project. So uh, who knows what would have happened there. Um, and then in the second year, it works on a project basis like that as well. You'd be looking at more into special effects and uh, factual projects like documentaries and things like that. Uh, so that's sort of the example of what sort of assessments you will be doing. They're always project based. There's always something to work towards in the end. Um, shall I go back to Louise? Look, I got her question wrong. Hi, Louise. Sorry about that. Yes, of course. Um, if you've danced with Travon, then I'm sure you'll be really well equipped for the course. We've had lots of Travon dancers come to us before and they are always brilliant. So we welcome Travon dancers and dancers from any other dancing schools. Any previous experience you've had will just add to what we teach you. We're not trying to change anything that you've learned before. We want to develop the skills further. Um, yeah, definitely outside dance classes that you've done before coming to college or keep doing them while you're at college are always brilliant. Um, but likewise, if you haven't had loads of dance experience, you're really interested and in your audition, we can look at your potential and we're happy to work with that as well. So, yeah, both, both, both are good. Either way, like raw kind of work to develop or people with lots of experience, we're happy to work with both. I hope that's better. Sorry, Louise. So there's another question, um, are there individual tap, uh, ballet and modern lessons? Jade, do you want to do one? Yes, um, so our courses are really diverse um, and yes, you will do ballet, tap, modern um, and lots of different styles. Our courses are designed to kind of equip you in lots and lots of different dance styles so you come out as a nice sort of round diverse performer. Um, in the first term normally is when we do um, ballet and contemporary. Um, obviously styles kind of progress and develop throughout the different terms but then second term is normally tap and jazz and then we go into our get kind of big performance dance narrative, big final major project performances. Um, and I can see there's another one underneath where we do point and ballet, so I'll answer both at the same time. Um, you won't necessarily be taught point in our ballet classes. It's more about kind of developing um, technical skills and understanding of the technique. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you can't challenge yourself. And if we think that you are ready and could do point in those classes, you know, this is something that we could work on, but you won't necessarily be taught point work. And there's another question. Is there any extra sports club you can join for fun alongside the course? Yeah, I'll take that question as well, if you don't mind. <laughs> Um, yes, uh, there are lots of uh, extracurricular sports activities available over on our Brooksby campus uh, and there are free buses going back and forth throughout the day. So uh, obviously uh, you can take part in those uh, sports clubs. I know there's football clubs for uh, both men and women. Um, I know there's a rugby club, definitely. Um, uh, so yes, there are other outside sports clubs that you can join just for fun. Could you give us some examples of what we do in the acting course, like projects? Yeah, sure. So on the acting course, we look at a wide range of acting skills so that people are really sort of set up with lots of different experiences. So some of the things that we look at are contemporary theatre, so sort of the latest writing, um, naturalism and realism, something that we look at early on is sort of a core acting skill. We also do physical theatre and political theatre. Um, and in the second year, we look at classical theatre, for example, Shakespeare, 
and also children's theatre and pantomime. So you've got a real diverse mix of styles that you learn on the acting course. We also do as well screen acting as well and um, audio recordings, voice acting. Are there any opportunities for work experience? <clears throat> Um, well, we're very lucky at Brooks Melton College because um, the college is based around the Melton Theatre, so we've got a sort of fully functioning prof professional venue. So at least five of the projects that the students do over their two years will be in the Melton Theatre, and so they get that sort of professional level experience. And it's a um, 350 seat theatre as well, so we get a really good sort of audience in for their performances. Yeah, and I'd also like to add on the uh, creative media course, uh, there's uh, uh, one of the modules that you work on and it's one of the units, sorry, that you work on in your second year is actually based with working with uh, working for a professional client. Um, in the last year or so, there's been a huge demand for online content from local businesses. So we've been able to uh, link up our students with local businesses. So, uh, yes, there are opportunities. Hmm. Would you like me to answer, would this course help with teaching performing arts? I would say absolutely, uh, because across all the courses, you, you are taught across the three disciplines. So if you're on the musical theatre course, you will also obviously be doing acting and you'll be doing dance. In terms of developing your skills to so then go on once you've done your degree and you're, uh, you do your PGCE, you have a well-rounded um, experience across the three disciplines in terms of musical theatre. Um, if anyone wants to say about the acting and dance, but within the dance and the acting courses, they get singing experience as well. So it's a very well-rounded um, course for everybody. So when they go on to the degree, all courses have had experience in all three disciplines within performing arts. So it sets them up really well. I think. Um... What's also good is um, particularly on I know on the dance course, but it goes across acting and MT as well, um, is that when we are working on projects, it's not just about the dance technique. We do dance technique, we also look at performance skills, production design, um, we have to kind of um, look at dance theory. Um, so there's lots of different expertise that you can carry forward when you want to progress onto another course. So, like Rachel was saying, if you are interested in all three aspects, you could potentially take your course in dance and go on to a performing arts course, um, or you could potentially look at um, another course, a more sort of administrative course, or maybe sort of a design course. Um, as long as you've got that qualification at level three, you can then use those points that you score throughout your course to go on to another course, if that makes sense. Hopefully. Do we need to buy anything in advance? Um, I think it depends what courses you're on. Um, for dance, um, you, do, you will need some ballet shoes, you will need some tap shoes. Um, and I know that on acting, sometimes they have to buy plays, and on musical theatre, sometimes they have to buy scores from music. Um, but it just depends on the individual course that you're on. I'm not sure about media, Arnie. Um, there's nothing you have to buy in advance. The only thing we do recommend for all uh, creative media students is, if you can, to get yourself a, a portable hard drive. Um, that's mainly for storing film footage because as much as we'd love to have huge amounts of storage on every computer in the college, uh, film footage does take up a lot. So we do recommend that you get yourself a portable hard drive. But uh, apart from that, there's nothing to really buy in advance for the creative media course. And on the acting course, sorry, right, do you want to? And all I was going to say on a really basic level is making sure you have quite a few sets of black. Because we expect you to wear blacks for all sessions. Non um, you know, literally black is black so that's something you could think about Primark somewhere cheap don't spend a lot of money because you, you the more you have the better it will be because obviously a lot of the classes are very physical so having a clean set of clothes every day obviously is, is going to be quite useful to you so I would say that's that is a an essential and then the specialist 
equipment that you need within the course, specific courses, we talked about later. Um, there's a question asking about course sizes. Um, it literally depends on the year. So sometimes we have really big classes, sometimes we have slightly smaller classes. Um, but what's really nice actually is that it's quite a collaborative environment. So there's times when MT and dance courses work together, there's times when year one and two year groups like work together on the same course or on different courses. And um, sometimes we bring the whole of the first year together. So um, it really does vary. But what is nice is that you will work with a variety of people throughout your time at college. Um, so I hope that helps. And then there's one underneath from Louise, and it just says, are the lessons between nine and five? Um, yeah, the lessons tend to be 9.30 till 4.30. Um, and that's kind of how the working day goes um, when you're in college. Um, evening wise, we do performances in the evening. Um, again, we might be looking at that slightly differently at the moment, but there may potentially be some evenings in the theatre um, or some assessments in the evening. Generally, um, the college day is between 9.30. There's a question about the BA course. Um, we do offer a BA in performing arts. Um, again, it's a really diverse course. Um, so you'll get a grounding in acting, dancing and singing. And um, what's great about it is that you can start to kind of tailor um, your course with our module options, thinking about where your strengths are. Um, so if you really see yourself as an actor, but with good physical skills, you can kind of tailor your projects and your module choices throughout um, years two and three to kind of reflect that. Um, it's a really good mix of kind of theory and practice um, and actually using the theory to inform the practical work that you're doing, looking at various practitioners, ways of working, different pieces. Um, and I think what's really great about our degree is the amount of performance opportunities that you get as well. Um, like we've said before, we've got um, a brilliant in-house theatre um, with lots of facilities, but actually the amount of opportunities you get to perform in there and other spaces and venues is, is great. Um, and I think compared to other courses is um, a kind of big seller of our course, I suppose. Um, but yes, there are kind of other modules, optional modules about performance for screen, um, kind of digital performance work where we can collaborate with media. Um, and I suppose the big um, performance project in the third year um, is, is the big kind of project that we enjoy and like to see our third years pr to progress to is where they work with an outside company or visiting kind of practitioner artist um, to create a really innovative new original work where you get to work with them and kind of create a new performance work. So hopefully that gives you a bit of an insight into our degree. Uh, if we're interested in musical theatre, do we have to be confident in all three areas or can we, I have a map, I'm assuming that's on work on the areas you're not confident in, I suppose that would probably be the end of that question. Um, you don't have to be confident in all three. Um, I think all the uh, lecturers will agree that ac across the musical theatre course, people have strengths in either one, two, very rarely do we have strengths in all three. So. It's building confidence as you go through. So you have a lot of consultation with the tutors, setting targets, reviewing your progress. So it's a lot of ensemble work as well. So you you can build up your skills and techniques in an ensemble capacity. So there's not too much solo, for example, solo singing going on in the first term, very much ensemble. And we look at the history of musical theatre, lots of ensemble singing, lots of harmony singing. So you're developing skills about having to sort of stand in front of the whole class, standing up singing solos. Year one is very much about ensemble. Year two is more about progression, um, where you look at much more about solo repertoire, getting you ready for HE courses and auditions. Um, acting, dance, a lot, a lot of the time, people, uh, some of the MT students don't have much experience in dance, but we look for potential, I'm sure Kat and Jade will agree, it's potential and just having a go. Because if you're going to go into performing arts for a degree, it's 
it's having that interest and passion for all of it and just trying your very very hardest and sometimes you find that people with limited technique when they come in that have worked and worked and worked and worked actually pass on past the people that may have entered the college with a little bit more experience but haven't worked as hard if that answers the question so no you don't have to be confident in all three areas but we aim by the time you finish the two years that you will be and there's a question from louise and um, is there much acting and singing covered on the dance course um, it's not the focus, but we definitely do cover it. So you will definitely do some acting and particularly singing in the second term when we collaborate with musical theatre and we work on a sort of cabaret style show. You will definitely get some experience and some singing lessons with Rachel. Um, and yeah, like because it's quite a diverse course and, and like Jade was saying earlier, when we work towards um, our end of year projects that's always a narrative piece of dance so we work with you um, to help you with your acting particularly in those sections too plus there's a panto where you'll work across e with everybody in your year group so there's always kind of potential to do singing and acting as well as dance. Okay, everyone, that is the end of the session. If you have any further questions, please email courseinquiries at brooksbymelton.ac.uk. You can also apply now on our website, which is www.brooksbymelton.ac.uk. The email address on the website is now shown in the live Q&A section. We'd like to thank you all so much for joining our live Q&A today. Enjoy the rest of your day and we really hope to see you soon. Take care everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.